Intel's investment in Ohio is expected to bring jobs and people from all walks of life. The company says it's trying to double the number of women and underrepresented minorities in senior leadership by 2030. And some universities in our state are already getting a head start on making sure people are ready to be hired. Spectrum News One reporter Aliyah Keller visited Wright State University to show us how. Michael Bowman is programming a chip so it can detect and prevent cyber attacks. I would say it's definitely more challenging than other things. But he seems to enjoy it. The story of how I got into computers was I was playing video games and I actually got like kicked offline. And before that, I viewed the internet as just like something you use, but there's this whole other aspect behind it, and it's way more complex than I ever thought. Bowman's a sophomore in college, and he gets to do what he loves every day during Wright State's Intel-led summer internship program. The program created by Professor Fateh Amsad is designed to train women and underrepresented minorities. We don't have lots of minorities. We don't have lots of women in engineering, right? So we want to engage those minorities and give them the opportunities because they are underserved and they are uh, economically disadvantaged. He says they get a lot of hands-on experience. They explore electronic hardware design, fabrication, and security so they can work at places like Intel one day. We want to make sure that we engage them with that. We can bring all the industry here, but we need the workforce. Amsad says it's all about creating opportunities for these students. And for that, Bowman says he's grateful to be a part of a change, inspiring women and other underrepresented minorities alike. One thing growing up, my mom always would say is, you never know like who you're talking to. So you can't ever assume like or judge a book by its cover. Like these underrepresented minorities, just because historically, they haven't been in the field. It doesn't mean they don't have the talent to, you know, excel it. But until then, he'll keep at it, doing what he loves. For Spectrum News, I'm Aliyah Keller. Now, the Intel-led program is a collaboration between Wright State University in Dayton and Central State University in Wilberforce. It's mostly for college students, but a few high schoolers are also taking part.